Hey, Hoodoo Loves, happy 2020. This is Miss Avi from Hoodoo Delish. Everybody who is new, great to meet you guys this year. And everybody who is back with me, I am happy to see you guys again. I really am excited to make this my very first video of 2020, starting our new decade. And just like, I'm, I'm so excited about the new year. I'm just, I'm, it's already been great. And I'm so, I'm so excited for it. But I wanted to start off my very first video for this year being a good old fashioned reversing work. So this is a traditional hoodoo reversal or reverse the curse working it is to send back black magic bad behavior bad vibes towards whoever has been throwing them at you so for this work i picked the simplest version that i could find that was also powerful and effective and i kind of want to make that clear up front there are literally thousands of renditions of this work um, they vary with the prayers, they vary with uh, the length of time, the ingredients. Um, the, the professional version of this that I do is uh, both longer and stronger, but I wanted to pick one for demonstrating on this channel that you could do at home yourself that would be powerful, get the job done, make things happen, fix the problem for you. So that is what we're going with today. And here are the things that you are going to need. First and foremost, you are going to need some plain table salt. Uh, very important, we do not want sea salt. We also specifically do not want kosher salt or flaked salt, plain table salt. You're also going to need some essential oils. Now, not all of these are necessary. I will go ahead and tell you right now. I am using lavender, rosemary, and eucalyptus. The only one you really have to have is the rosemary. We are also going to be using some rubbing alcohol. I know that seems like a weird ingredient, but it does a thing. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you in a second. You will need a fire safe container for part of what we are doing. Also make sure that you are doing this in an environment that is well ventilated and where you do not have pets, small children, or things that are easily flammable running around. You're gonna need some angelica root some black salt. There is a recipe for how to make this on my Instagram. I'm gonna make sure that I post that in the comments down below. And you are going to need a hoodoo reversing candle. Um, I prefer using the black and red combination. I got this one custom made by Mystical Misty Candles. Uh, I'll put a link for where you can get this candle down in the description below. Uh, I like this one specifically because it's nice and thick with soft wax and I can carve into it, get everything that I need to get written in there in there really easy, but Black and red is the best work or the best color combination for this. You can do red on top, black on bottom, or black on top, red on bottom. If you can't do, for some reason, a double colored one, a plain black candle will also work. So, we're gonna get started today by talking just a little bit about something that I haven't had a chance to introduce on this channel yet, but I wanna do more of, something that I had to do a lot of research on. I've actually spent about two years making sure that I was doing this correctly. So one of the things that this particular work uses is salt work. Now salt is a crystal. We could definitely go into way more detail about what hoodoo salt work is, but basically salt takes and amplifies the property of anything that is put into it. And we are doing a little bit of salt work with this particular working. So we're gonna take that plain table salt that we've got there and we are going to start by activating it like so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this salt to amplify the intentions that I put into this work a thousandfold. Let my prayers be louder. Let my intent be stronger. Let my magic be more potent. Let this salt amplify it up high into heaven so that it may reach the ears of God himself. And I ask this with the help of my guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. That is what salt does. Salt is an incredible amplifier. So we're starting with that. The next thing we're going to do here is take the alcohol and spray it on there. Now in this work, the alcohol itself doesn't actually have any magical properties. You don't want it soaking, you just want to get it wet. Now we're going to come to our oils. We're going to start with our rosemary. Rosemary is very good for cleansing, protecting, and reversal. It does everything that we are doing in this spell. So we're gonna add, oh, five, six, a little bit. You can kind of eyeball it there. If you're really sensitive to the smell, you don't have to use as much. Um, 
So we we'll set that to the side, but we'll bless and activate that like this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this rosemary oil to cleanse, to protect, and to reverse any and all negative things that we need to send back today. I pray that it would cleanse away any on all dark magic from, that it would protect her from any of that magic reattaching or being sent to her again, and that it would reverse that dark magic back to its source. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, eucalyptus. I also choose eucalyptus oil for this working because eucalyptus opens things up and lets them flow. And that might not seem important for a reversal work, but when you understand the nature of dark magic, a lot of it binds to you, like it will wrap around you or dig hooks into you. So it's actually good to do this because it loosens everything up and it lets that magic detach from you with a minimum of drama. So that's what we're doing here. Minimum of damage as the reversal happens. And again, you can just kind of add that. I wouldn't go too overboard. Remember, these are also flammable and we already put uh, alcohol in here and this is headed for a fireproof bowl. So like fire is gonna be involved, but just kind of kind of eyeball it, do what you feel is safe. This is definitely something to use your own judgment about. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this eucalyptus oil to make the process of this cleansing easy. Let everything open up, let everything be released without drama, without trauma, and without damage to or any of those that she loves or cares about or anything that belongs to her. And I ask this with the help of my guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. And last of all, I'm working with lavender oil. Lavender is two parts peace and one part domination. Three or four drops of this, what this helps to do is to make sure that the cleansing and the reversal is as peaceful for your target as possible, but also that it goes your way. Um, occasionally, I have seen people do cleansings and reversals that wound up having results that technically did remove the curse, but also created an additional problem. Um, magic is like water. It will always take the path of least resistance. The lavender oil gets in there to prevent it from doing that, to kind of force it to do things your way. So that's what we're doing here. We're just amplifying and enforcing our will on the situation. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this lavender oil to specifically make sure that this cleansing, this reversal is peaceful for and all those she loves and cares about and that it goes her way so that things are gentle, peaceful, and positive on her side of the line. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a stick here. I'm gonna stir this up, because this is damp with that alcohol. Kind of get that all mixed in. And we're gonna put it into our fire safe bowl here. And this alcohol does dry fairly quickly, so you wanna make sure that you get enough in there that it's gonna be still damp by the time you're putting it in, but not so wet that it's sticky. So it should look a little fluffy, kinda of like, yeah, like this. Just a little bit fluffed up. All right. So, <clears throat> the next thing we need to do here is talk about our candle just a little bit. Now, for this working, you are going to need two things as far as information goes. You look here, if your camera can focus on it, I have drawn arrows. These are helpful for the work, but they're really more for the purpose of showing you exactly what's happening. The enemy that you are working against, you wanna write their name on the black part of the candle going downwards, but backward towards the middle of the candle. You wanna do that three times. If you don't know who your enemy is, you can simply write my enemy, my enemy, my enemy, but you are writing it from the top towards the middle with the characters all going backwards, writing from right to left if you're writing in English. Then from the bottom, you are going to write the target you are cleansing. So if it's yourself, you would write your name, your name, your name, moving left to right, so forward, 
up from the bottom to the middle of the candle. The idea here is that your enemy is brought low while you are brought high. See this? Your enemy is brought low while you are brought high. Your enemy is returned to earth, you are elevated. Your enemy brings back the things they took from you, you move up past them. That's the idea of this. You can draw these arrows if you wanna add just a little bit of extra oomph to it, but like I said, it's really more just a visual aid to give you an idea of what to write on here without having to show the actual person's private information on the back of the candle. So that is what we're going to be drawing on this candle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a match and we're going to light our salt. Now here is where it is very important to use table salt. Kosher salt and flaked salt and larger crystal salt has lots of air pockets in it. When it heats up, it pops and it sends boiling hot salt flying in all directions. That's dangerous. I would actually recommend, if you're not sure how this is gonna go, wear some safety goggles with this. And again, don't do it around pets or small children. This can be a little dangerous. So it's, you know, use your own good judgment, but definitely it's fire, you know, be, be safe. We are going to take this and we are gonna activate this candle, not crossing it, but by circling it counterclockwise through the fire and praying over it. So here we go. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this candle to make sure that any and all dark magic is removed from, especially any magic that prevents her from finding success and happiness in money, in love, in her career, in her social life, in her family life, or in her home. I ask that these things would be reversed, sent back to the enemy or enemies from whence they come one thousandfold, and that she would be made free of them with any and everything she has lost, restored to her, and made greater and happier and more blessed and more beloved than it ever has been in the past. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels in Jesus' name. Amen. As you can see, I've been rolling the candle here as I'm rotating it. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to just soften that bottom of the candle over the fire a little bit and then stick it to stand straight up on our plate here. Now this, you can let go ahead and burn out. We are done with this. It will continue to pray because it's like a candle. It sends that prayer up that we put over them. So it's already working on your spell for you. Usually this is going to burn for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how dense the alcohol and salt mixture is. Keep your eyes on it, don't leave it unattended, but it will usually burn out on its own. So we're gonna set that to the side. And now we are going to come to our candle and finish up the rest of this really cool, but really simple working. The next thing we're gonna use here is our black salt. Black salt can be used either to curse or to cleanse. And in this case, it's kind of doing both. So you can use either the cursing salt or the cleansing salt. I would recommend the cleansing and that is what I am using here. So we're gonna activate it like so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this black salt to remove any and all dark magic, negativity, blockages, hurts, curses, or evil intent from Remove anything in those areas, I pray, that is blocking her from money, from love, from success, from fame, from joy, from family, from friends. Remove those blockages. Remove those blockages, I pray. And let it be done in a way that is peaceful for her, that she enjoys, that she finds positive and pleasurable. Let her enemies be brought low and let her be elevated and raised up, I pray. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. And we're just gonna pour this, and I'm going to pour it specifically counterclockwise because we are getting rid of things. And counterclockwise is that direction for sending things away, for things moving apart. There we go. Just put it in right there. There we go. Okay. Last of all, we've got our Angelica root. So here we go. And you can substitute um, other cleansing or um, you other cleansing or exorcising herbs for this. Uh, hyssop is one you can substitute. Uh, wormwood can be substituted. Um, 
There's several others and you can, you can look and see what's available in your local area, but what you need is something that is good for cleansing and banishing. Angelica just happens to be fantastic for both of those, so I would recommend using Angelica Root. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this Angelica Root to remove any and all dark magic from the life of let it be removed peacefully, easily, in ways that are positive and pleasurable to her without causing any harm to her or anyone or anything she loves. But let these things be totally and completely removed and sent back to her enemies a thousandfold. Let her enemies be brought low and let her be lifted up, I pray. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that counterclockwise all the way around this candle. Let's juice it all up. Now, you can definitely add more things to this. If you want to add more cleansing herbs, more protection herbs, if you want to add some protection oil, if you want to add um, a, a good root that you work with all the time that you've got a good relationship with, if you want to add stones like black onyx or obsidian for protection and for power, like but all of those things can be added to this, but this is the stripped down basic version of this, and it's going to get the job done. It's just very straightforward, and I really, I know that Everyone needs access to something like this in their life, something very straightforward and easy to do. So, now we're gonna light her up. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this candle to remove any and all dark magic and dark magical influence from the life of, let it be permanently and completely removed and destroyed, let her enemies be brought low, let her be lifted up high, and I pray that this would all be done in ways that are a blessing and a pleasure to her, and that cause no harm to her or anyone or anything she loves. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, a couple of notes for as you are working this. Pay attention, this is one of the few spells where it is actually a really positive sign to see specifically black smoke. Black smoke in most other workings indicates resistance, and it does indicate resistance here, but in this case, it also specifically indicates that the spell found something and it's getting rid of it for you. So keep your eyes on that and just keep your ears open as well for things like hissing, popping, whistling. Hissing is gossip, uh, rumors, lies, and it's letting you know that the candle is silencing those. Uh, popping is barriers being broken or obstacles being removed, and it often literally is like ties of dark spells being cut, is like, like, like the image that will come through. Um, whistling indicates that someone will be mourning or weeping or wailing, and that usually is your enemy. It indicates, yes, we found somebody and we're sending it back at them. So pay attention to all of those signs in the flame itself, in particular in this working. But there you go, that is a hoodoo reversal work. I would absolutely love to hear what versions of this work do you know how to do? What are your traditions, thoughts, questions, comments, opinions? I love it all. Drop it down in the comments down below. If you wanna find more of my work, you can find me at hoodoodelish.com or on Instagram as hoodoodelish or on Pinterest as hoodoodelish. And I'll make sure all those links are down there below for you. I love you guys and I will see you again hopefully very, very soon. Bye-bye and Happy New Year.